when I told you guys that peaceway, they don't separate again, some people started insulting me. Even when I posted the video, they said that the video is an old interview. Rude boy granted. But this is a recent news now because today, just few minutes ago now, Mr. P, which is Peter Okoye, he don't write a letter to his brother. See, I'm here. You understand? Open letter to my dear brother, Paul Okoye, aka Rude Boy. Listen, my read them for you. My dear brother, Paul, just like I have told you several times, I'm not in any competition with you or anybody else. However, seeing you grant counselors interview where you constantly discredit my effort in the group that we both created and built together really speaks volumes. In your recent interview, you claimed that you wrote and sang 99% of all Peace Square songs and discredited me by saying that our song with T.I. Ejajo, which I wrote, was a failure. You went as far as using the YouTube views to discredit me once again. Listen! You never acknowledged the, so the other songs like Get Squares, Busybody, Personally, Roll It, Temptation, Alingo, More Than A Friend, Shaking It, Say Your Love, Give Me That, Senorita, Igbedu, and few others. We are all these, we are these songs also considered failure as well. He was asking his brother, Rude Boy, Mr. P, now you write this, this one now. See the second paragraph. Every time I have spoken in interviews about Peace Way, I have always used we, unquote, and us, unquote, because I saw us as a team. But whenever you speak, it's always I and me, unquote. Even when I'm standing right beside you, it's as if I never existed. My brother, neither of us is the most talented artist in the world, but you fail to understand that God gave us this talent and even granted us another chance to excel after our last breakup. Instead, you chose to turn the most awarded and decorated music group in Africa into a laughing stock again. One thing you need to understand dearly, clearly is that fans didn't fall in love with Peace Way because of who sang, who sang or danced the, the most. What made us special was the magic that came from our combined efforts. Us too, Peace Way, was a force and the fans fell in love with Peace Way because of our uniqueness and unity. We both have talent, no doubt, and I have often praised you in our interview for your songwriting ability. I've always praised anyone who has ever written a song for us or even for me as a Mr. P. But instead of you showing gratitude to my kind words, you seem to find satisfaction in rubbing it in, in my face, forgetting that, forgetting that it is by God's grace that we have come this far. Paragraph 3. Rather than joining forces with me to reclaim our number one spot in the music industry, you choose to team up with Jude, that is their senior brother, their manager, to claim to to claim the number one spot in the, in the P Square group. Always looking for opportunity to marginalize and humiliate me. You always claiming to be P Square songwriter, composer, composer, producer, singer, backup artist. In fact, every uh, in fact, you are everything, including P Square video directing, brand promoter, manager, even cin cinematographer. You are the author and finisher of Peace Square. In fact, I dash you 100% of everything instead of 99% you claim. I blame myself for not responding to tweet claims in April 2015 that you wrote and sang all Peace Square song. I didn't respond to this false claim for the sake of peace. As I advised by the family and friends, and now I'm paying dearly for it. Hmm. So, my brother, let me ask you. Is Rude Boy or Mr. P big, bigger and more, more successful than P Square today? Are we individually selling out arenas and stadiums like P Square used to? Are we topping the world music chart with our songs as solo artists? Do we? Hmm. Paragraph 4. Command crowd and entertain massive audience like P Square. Okay, still asking the question. Did they command crowd and entertain massive audience like this way? I often find myself wondering, why do you truly gain? What do you uh, truly gain by constantly dis dis disrespecting and blatantly me all the time? You have disrespected my wife, disrespected my family, disrespected my talent, disrespected my ideas, and even sided with Jude when he was clearly trying to oppress me. 
Now, it feels like you have taken even further by trying so hard to turn the fans against me by making them believe I'm jealous of you. You have been doing everything for the fans to hate me, but guess what? They will never hate me. Instead, of, instead they will hate us both because we've disappointed and failed them. And that is the true, not true. I've, I hope you are happy now. I generally wish you nothing but the best, bro. As for those who believe these lies and false narrative and came to my page to drop negative comments, I understand, I understand because you have been fed with the wrong narrative for a long time. Please allow me to focus and do more music in peace. As for ESCC matter, I will address it before the end of today. Stay tuned. I'm a, you don't say me, I'll be your best father. Nothing, I know they do anything. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've heard from um, Mr. P. If you did not um, watch the previous video, go back to um, like five to six videos now from this page. You will, you will listen to the interview um, Root Boy granted in one radio station in Lagos for everything he said and complete and contracts who is generally telling us the truth here. One love.